frontline children will have access to free meals this summer. It's part of a program that's been around for decades. But organizers say not as many families participate as could take part. Alexis Carpello spoke with Rockford's Community Programs Manager today. Alexis, he tells you the goal is to keep kids healthy. Well, we are always looking for new partners so that we can feed more kids. A program designed to make sure no kids in the state line go without meals is back again this summer. Kids under the age of 18 can go to the sites and um, all they need to do is walk in and say I'm here for the lunch program. It's really important that um, we get the word out so that families know that children can come and get a nutritious meal during the summertime. The program is free but Rockford's community programs manager Christopher Greenwood says not all kids utilize it. Not only in our area, but throughout the country, it is estimated that one in four children do not utilize this program. We've been running this program for 30 plus years. Um, it is a program designed to provide children with a nutritious meal when school is not in session. Over 30 sites between Boone and Winnebago counties will serve up the food starting June 14th. We try to um, put sites throughout the city of Rockford where we know that it's going to be able to be in walking distance or driving distance for a family. Last year during the pandemic it was mostly grab and go sites. Um, this year the sites are going to do different types of programming so the kids will have activities to do um, and they will eat on site and they'll get to see their friends again. Greenwood says the goal is to make sure kids in the state line are ready to learn. We don't want kids to go hungry and we want them to go back to school prepared and if they don't have nutritious meals throughout the summertime we know that they're not going to be prepared to learn in the fall. Organizers have made it really easy to find these sites. We'll have that information in this article on our website mystateline.com. Eric.